Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is the end of the month which means it is a time for a show us your sheet load slash happy mail video. I hope you'll stick around and see the beautiful creations that I was sent. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share what has came in my P.O. box for the month. This used to strictly be a show us your sheet load feature where subscribers would send in cards that they have made using the issues of sheet load of cards, but then people started sending me cards just because. So I wanted to be able to share those as well. So today in this video, I think you'll see a mixture of both of those. Now, if you're ever interested in showing us your sheet load, you can do that on your YouTube channel, your Instagram feed, or you can send in a card. I will link the video below that has all of those instructions so you know how to play along. Also in the description box below, I will have a link to the Instagram posts from August as well as any videos that were shared in August by subscribers. I hope that you'll check those out. The last couple months, instead of opening everything up on camera, I have been taking pictures of what is in the envelopes, and I think many of you have enjoyed that, and it seems to go very smoothly on my end, so that's what we'll do today. When I do start to open these envelopes, you'll just see a shot of what's inside, and I'll talk a little bit about it and tell you who sent it to me. Let's go ahead and open these up. Jennifer D. of California sent in these first four cards. I think that every time I went to my P.O. box, there was an envelope from Jennifer. That was so fun each week to find one from her. She is catching up on making the sheet loads. From left to right, we have the February 2020, January 2020, December 2019, and March 2020. Thanks so much, Jennifer. This next card is from Marianne W. of Nevada, and she said that her and a friend got together on a Saturday afternoon and spent it making August 2020 sheet loads of cards. How fun! I just love these gorgeous pattern papers on this card and how she added that polka dot strip across the back behind the sentiment. Thanks so much, Marianne, and tell your friend thanks for using sheet load as well. I received two envelopes in the mail from Colleen W. of Nevada this month. The first one was that gorgeous card on the left that used the August 2020 sheet load of cards. I am loving those fun fruits and that bright lemon stamp. That is just gorgeous. And then on the right, Colleen won one of my recent giveaways where she got a stamp set. So she sent me a thank you card and a stamp set as well. Thank you so much, Colleen. I cannot wait to use that. I do love to text. Naomi H. of Minnesota sent in two cards this month. On the left is a fun and bright card featuring some Barrel of Monkeys die cuts. I don't think I have thought of those toys in years. This is so fun. And then on the right, she has sent in one of her gorgeous patriotic cards. It's hard to tell on screen, but there is lots of sparkle and shine in those gold areas. Thanks so much, Naomi. Karen T. of California sent in this birthday card, which uses the July 2020 sheet load of cards. She is new to my YouTube channel and to sheet load, so welcome Karen, I am so glad you're here. She sent me a beautiful note that included some stuff about her background and some of the cards she has made, and I can tell that she is a beautiful person inside and out. I do want to show you the inside of this card because it has a fun pop-up element for the candle on the cupcake. Thank you so much Karen for sending this in and I hope that you enjoy sheet load into the future. 
This next card is from Wanda R. from Virginia. She has used the August 2020 sheet load of cards along with Jen Hadfield's My Bright Life collection. We are both a huge fan of that collection. It has great prints for cards. Thank you so much, Wanda, for taking the time to send in a card this month. Yvonne K. of Wisconsin sent in this masculine card, which uses the August 2020 sheet load of cards. I am loving those metallic gears and how she used some of the kind of leftover bits from the die cut, those little gold circles, to decorate other areas on her card. On the inside, too, was a fun sentiment and image, so I'll show you that. Thanks so much, Yvonne, for sending in a card this month. These next two cards are from Christina M. of Illinois, and she has used the Bright Spirits collection from Recollections to create these two fun and bright holiday cards. On the left, she used the July 2020 sheet load of cards, and on the right, she used the August 2020 sheet load. Now, on the left one, the one from July, the sketch is set up so you can see some of the inside of the card from the front. And I love how she has used a page that I would normally probably not use. It looks like it was one of those border strip pages to create that little piece on the inside. Thanks so much, Christina, for sending in your beautiful cards. Charlotte B. of Texas has sent in this beautiful square card. She uses her own artwork on the card. She did go ahead and confirm that with me because she recently sent in another card where I was wondering if she had created that art. She said that she loves to do this on her cards. Now it's hard to tell in the picture, but the background, it is textured and sparkly and gorgeous. I tried to catch it here with a little video, but it still doesn't do it justice as what you see in person. Also on the inside, I wasn't sure what this card was for because I thought it was completely blank, but it's actually kind of a trifold where you fold down that flap for that message. Thank you so much, Charlotte, for sharing your thoughts with me and your beautiful letter and your card. This next card is from my friend Danny here in Nebraska, and she handed me this card with some Color Street nail samples. She has recently started selling these, and I wanted to give some a try, so she nicely gave me a couple to try out along with this gorgeous card. I did just last night go ahead and try out a different set that I bought from her, and here is a picture of those. I just love the fun sparkle on them. If you want to try out Color Street and you don't already have a stylist, I will link Danny's site below and you can go check it out and see if you might like to try some for yourself. Karen C. of Virginia has sent in these five awesome cards. They use various sheet loads of cards. They are the June, August, and October 2019 sheet loads and the May and August 2020 sheet load of cards. Also, in a couple of these cards, she has used the Cotton Fields pad that I shared. I believe that these were for my August 2020 sheet load of cards. It is such a great pad. Thanks, Karen, for sending all of these in. And last but not least is a package from Pam P. in Oregon. Um, I have a little funny story to share about these. Pam's package was the first one that I had to pick up from a locker where I had a key in my P.O. box. And I am looking all around at every single P.O. box for a locker number one and I cannot see it. And so I go in and I wait to talk to the person at the counter and he's like, yeah, it's either in the ones in the corner or whatever. Um, yeah, so I swear that when I wear a mask anywhere, not only does it, you know, affect my breathing a little bit, not bad enough to not wear it, but I swear that my hearing and my eyesight fails a little bit as well because I went back out in the lobby and right there were the lockers. Let me know below if you have that same problem with your mask. The first goodies from this package were two lovely cards with coordinating envelopes. The one on the left uses the August 2020 sheet load of cards and the one on the right uses the July 2020. And I absolutely love how she made those coordinating envelopes. I so need to do this with leftover pattern paper. 
And finally in her package, she said that she had sent me a little happy mail and wow, was I happy. Like I was kind of blown away by this. I got a beautiful Christmas stamp set on the left along with some six by 12 Christmas themed pattern papers. And then on the right, she sent me a selection of some six by six pattern papers as well. The six by six are gonna come in super handy for when I make more August 2020 sheet loaded of cards. And here's a little hint about September. Those tall skinny ones on the left are gonna make great papers for September sheet load of cards. Thank you so, so much, Pam, for your lovely cards that you sent in and all of these goodies. I really am overwhelmed and it's very much appreciated. Now, if you've watched this far, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little peek at the first set of cards I made using the September 2020 sheet load. Thank you so much for everyone who took the time to send a card or cards in to me and especially for those extra goodies. They are definitely not necessary but they are oh so appreciated. If you enjoyed getting a look at what I received this month, I hope that you'll give this video a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye.